Hey all dinosaurs, I'm Dan and today I have a huge huge box of new dinosaurs, prehistoric animals and animal figures to show you guys. I am so excited. Let's get started. Are you a dinosaur yet? Subscribe to become one now. Okay, first let's take a look at this brilliant new dinosaur model from Furuta. So basically this set contains 8 different dinosaurs and I'm gonna open 2 today. I will leave the rest to another video. Let's pop this open. Okay, so nice. So each pack actually comes with this little packaging. So I'm gonna cut this open with a pair of scissors. And if you are using a pair of scissors at home, Please be really careful and have your parents to actually supervise you, okay? So let's have a look at this. Oh, what is this? Looks like we have a Triceratops. Looks pretty cool. Let's fix this up. Okay, take a look at this. This is actually a 3D puzzle. So let's fix this up. Now for the body, the tail, and now let's cover it with this. Nicely done. And now all we need to do is to place in this the frill and the horns. There you go. A Triceratops. The three horned face. And it comes with this collector's card. Some information about this dinosaur in Japanese. So nice, we have a Triceratops minifigure from Firuta. This is super awesome. Let's move on to the next item. Next, let's take a look at another dinosaur figure. We have an Apatosaurus right over here, and this is from Safari Limited. The Apatosaurus is known as Deceptive lizard, a huge herbivorous dinosaur. Nice! And now let's take a look at another figure. And this is a Spinosaurus. Not exactly new, but I got this like recently. Very nice from Schleich. I love it a lot. And take a look at this. My first ever woolly mammal. And let's rip this open. Oh, cool! Wooly Mammoth is a prehistoric elephant which is closely related to modern day Asian elephants. The size is actually pretty close to an African elephant. Wow, take a look at this. This is from Papo. The tars are really soft and flexible but the body is really hot and tough. Really awesome details and awesome paint work. The Wooly Mammoth is definitely, definitely one of my most favorite prehistoric creatures and over here what is this we have another prehistoric animal and this is known as the deodon we shall talk about more prehistoric beasts later on we have plenty of them in this box next let's take a look at an animal or rather a or rather an extinct animal this is known as a Quagger. It is actually closely related to a modern day zebra. Very cool. I you know definitely hope I can actually see a real life quagger, but you know there's no way now because it is totally extinct. Next, let's take a look at hmm, let's see. What about another dinosaur? From maybe not. Let's take a look at this animal. We have a Cape Buffalo over here, which is also known as an African Buffalo or a Savannah Buffalo. This figure is from PNSO. It comes from a set of African animals. We have a giraffe over here, which is really, really awesome. And take a look at this, another prehistoric animal, which is known as the Hyadon. Hyadon, I think. Okay, which is also known as the hyena's tooth, but it, it is actually not related to a hyena. It is more closely related to a modern day cat. Okay, next, let's take a look at another dino model. 
which is over here. Another brand new box and let's open this up. Cool, and let's fix this up together, shall we? Wow, looks like we have another Apatosaurus and let's fix this up. Now for the body, like this. Oops, giraffe is falling down. And now for the tail. You guys must be wondering, where can I get this? I got this from eBay, from Japan. This is super cool. I love the figures from Furuta. They are really awesome. And now for the last piece of the day. Yes, we have finally fixed up this Apatosaurus. Looks very, very cool. And let's have a comparison with this. This huge one right over here. Oh, I actually prefer the smaller one than the bigger one. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna place this giraffe away as he is always falling down. Okay, the next item. Let's take a look at this. I have a prehistoric tree right over here. Yes, you heard me. A prehistoric tree. And this is actually known as William Sonier tree, which is a type of plant which is related to cycads. This is an extinct genus of plant. Very cool. I definitely need this tree for more videos. Really awesome. Take a look at this tree. It looks really, really brilliant. It comes with this really nice stand. Love it. I'm going to place it right beside this box right over here. Oh, you guys can't really see it. So maybe let's just place it right over here. Yep, looks pretty good. And let's move on to our next item. Next, let's take a look at this. Another prehistoric creature. Another prehistoric... Prehistoric bear. We have a cave bear from Papo. Why is it known as the cave bear? It, was, it is because most of the fossils were found in caves. Really nice, my first ever cave bear figurine. Not the best detailed figure, I would say, but still looks very nice. I love it. Take a look at this. The brown bears, you know, are actually very closely related to the cave bears. And the bears are also one of my most favorite animals. Next, let's take a look at this. This is also a figure from Japan. This is from Coloretta. We have a Stegosaurus, the roof lizard. Very nice. It is a herbivorous dinosaur. And take a look at this. We have a figure from Furuta and a figure from Coloretta. And both look amazing. Both are herbivorous dinosaurs. Next, let's have a look at maybe this one right over here and what creature is this i have to cut this open oh what is this another prehistoric mammal this is known as the human taftarium oh this is cool very cool this will definitely go very well with my prehistoric animal collection I'm place them side by side, they look really awesome. Oh my goodness, take a look at this. Really awesome figures. I don't have much facts about this mammal right over here, but it is fine. I will be doing a prehistoric animal video very soon, so keep a look out on that. Okay, over here we have another prehistoric animal, and this is known as the Arsenoitherium. This animal looks like a rhino, but it is actually closely related to an elephant. Okay, next, let's move on. We have more animals from PNSO. We have a zebra, and let's have a comparison of a zebra and a quagger. Oh my goodness, they look so similar. The quagger is actually very closely related to the zebras in state of horses. Okay, more animals. What do we have over here? We have a rhinoceros. 
A rhinoceros is also an African animal. Oh, cool. Let's adjust the camera. Okay. Next, what do we have? Another figure from Japan. This is from Favorite Cole. A figure of a Triceratops. The three horned face. And let's have a comparison with this. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Sony. How are you? I'm good. Great. And this Triceratops, it's really brilliant. It has this really nice big white mouth. I like it a lot. Let's move on. And not a prehistoric animal. And what is the name of this prehistoric animal? Do you guys know this is actually known as the Andrew Sockers? Very cool. Let's move on. We have more prehistoric animals and animals. Oh, what is this animal? Oh, what a dinosaur. A very nice figure of a Mercurial Ceratops from Collecti. It is also a Ceratopsian dinosaur. So we have a couple of Ceratopsian dinosaurs over here. Triceratops, Mercurial Ceratops, and not a mini Triceratops. These are looking pretty good. Okay, next, what is this? What is this? My first ever. Let's pop this open, shall we? This is known as a Silocanth. Okay, a Silocanth is actually a prehistoric fish, I would say. Um, it was believed to be extinct like 6 to 5 million years ago, but it was actually. I mean, a silocanth was actually discovered along the coast of South Africa back in 1938. So, this fish could still be alive. Who knows? Who knows, right? It could be deep, you know, deep in the sea, but just no one can find them. Yep, very nice. My first ever figure of a silocanth. The Spinosaurus, which is right over here, probably, probably fed on this fish, who knows? The Spinosaurus is known as the Spine Lizard and this is another figure from Colorata. It comes with this diorama or rather a base. So the Spine Lizard is a semi-aquatic dinosaur. Cool, as you guys can see, this base contains like the beach or rather the sand and the sea. So this is pretty cool. Spinosaurus giving out a loud roar. Next, we have more African animals. We have this fastest land animal on Earth, the cheetah. Nice. Next, what is this? Oh, this looks like another animal. This is known as the wildebeest. Another African animal. Let me adjust the camera. This place is in a mess. Next, what do we have over here? The elephant. The elephant looks so prehistoric looking to me. The elephant is like the largest land animal on earth right now. One of my most favorite animals of all time. And what do we have over here? Another Ceratopsian dinosaur. And let's take a look at the name. What is written below? Medusa Ceratops. Another Ceratopsian herbivorous dinosaur. Cool. I love this part right over here. Looks like it contains some feathers. Very nicely done. Nice paint work. Looks really amazing. Next, what do we have over here? A prehistoric. I almost said flying reptile, but this is actually a prehistoric marine reptile by the name of Mosasaurus, the lizard of the Miss River. And this is a figure from Safari Limited. Nice. Oh, and this, one of my most favorite from 2017. A Schleich Tyrannosaurus Rex. This is looking pretty good. I feel this is like a huge improvement from the 2015 models. Really nice, it has a movable jaw. Rawr! I love it. The Tyrant Lizard King. Oh, nice paintwork and nice details. I'm gonna place it right beside the tree. Right. Oops. 
Oh my goodness, it falls to the ground. Oh my goodness, let's check whether it has some damage on it. Hopefully not. I don't think so. Okay, it is still pretty much intact. Okay, that's a relief. Let's move on. We have more prehistoric animals and this is known as the Amoeba Lodern. Wow, this definitely looks like a modern day elephant. And take a look at this task over here. It looks like a shover. Very cool. I'm gonna place it back in the box and what is this? We have another prehistoric marine predator by the name of Plesiosuchus. Very awesome, a 2016 model. Very nicely done. I love it. And we have more figures from the PNSO African Animal Selection. A lion, a hyena. Let's have a comparison with the hyenodon. They look kind of similar, but they are actually not related at all. The last figure of the day, we have a hippopotamus. Cool, I love it. So that's the haul for me. Okay, so if you guys want to check out the PNSO Family Zoo set, you can check it out right over here. It contains the fan flip. This is not a sponsored video, just my own collection. So let me know in the comments which one is a favorite figure. For me, I'm gonna go with Holy Mammoth. This is really huge. This is heavy. Wow, this is really massive. And my second most favorite will have to be the Apatosaurus. This is looking pretty cool. Okay, this is actually my first ever Apatosaurus model. I have another one, but it is actually a bootleg. But I'm not a huge fan of this line on the mouth. It doesn't look very good. I could have done better. This tail right over here looks a little bit weird. The curve is like way too dramatic for my liking, but overall this is looking pretty lit. I love it. Really awesome. So yes, this that's the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoy this. And if you do, just give this video a thumbs up, share it, and let me comment, and I will definitely reply to you. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe down below and press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. Thanks for your amazing support. I hope to see you guys tomorrow in the next video. That's all. But before you go, check out the previous videos right over here. Thanks and goodbye.